Okay, in this video we're going to um, install the Apache web server on an EC2 instance and um, before we actually launch the instance we're going to do a couple of things to prepare our instance. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have a key pair for that instance so that when we create it we'll be able to um, SSH into it. And I'm here on my EC2 dashboard and under network and security there's key pairs. So I already created this key pair here and I downloaded the key pair, but if you wanted to create it, you can just create a new one and you can create it in PEM format if you're on Mac or Linux. And if you're on Windows, you can create a PPK for PuTTY, uh, but you can also convert a PEM to PPK on PuTTY as well. So I already have that. I downloaded this um, to my machine so I can log into the instance. And the second thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a security group uh, for that instance. Uh, actually, this is already one that I had before, so I'm going to um, I'm going to just show you uh, what how I created it, which was here. So I can allow HTTP, so HTTP traffic from port 80 from anywhere, and and then SSH from only my IP address here, and also for uh, pinging only from my IP address there. So this is the security group that's already been created. I would create this before the EC2 instance, so that way it's ready to go. And then as far as outbound, it just allows everything outbound. Okay, so now that we have our key pair and security group created, now we can actually go to the instance. So it's here. Um, I am going to launch a new one. So I'm going to use the uh, Amazon Linux 2 AMI which is here. I'm gonna use the T2 micro type. You can use other ones. This one is eligible for the free tier. Then I'm gonna configure the instant details. Uh, so here I'm using the default VPC. I mean, in other cases, obviously it would be better to use your own VPC with a public and private subnet and, and all that. But for this exercise, we're just gonna use the default VPC. And we're gonna uh, make sure that the, um, we're gonna have a public IP so that's, uh, we're gonna use the subnet settings, uh, which is enable, so it's gonna give us a public IP. This is very important, so we'll be able to access our instance. Then we're going to um, add storage, which is here, which is the default storage. And then tags, we're gonna give it a name tag. So let's say test web server like this. And then the security group, this is where you could create a security group, or I just prefer um, selecting an existing security group. So this is the one that we already created, which allows uh, traffic on port 80 from anywhere, and then SSH and pinging only from our server. We're gonna review and launch. So everything looks good here, and we're gonna launch the instance. This is the key pair that we're gonna use, which again, we created beforehand. You could create a new one right here, um, but again, I just prefer having it ready to go. And that's it. So we're going to launch the instance now that it's launching. So we're going to take a look at that instance. So here we could already see the public IP has been assigned right here. And if we try, we're going to try pinging that. It's going to probably not work because the instance isn't up yet. So as you can see, it's timing out. So we know we're not ready yet. Uh, give it a couple of more seconds, so it's still in a pending state. Okay, it's getting ready. It should only take a few seconds to come up. Okay, let's just try paying it again. Okay, it's still not coming up. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause the video um, while it's coming up. It should only take a little bit of time. So um, let me try this. Okay, so we're back. Um, took a little bit of time, but the instance is showing as up. So here it is. Uh, it's showing as running. So now what we can do is we can try pinging it and. So here it is. So now the ping is working. So that means the instance is up, which is great. So now we're going to 
SSH into that instance and install a, the Apache web server on it. So we're going to use the SSH command, SSH minus I, and then we're going to specify the name of the PEM file, and then we're going to say ec2-user, and then at, and then the public IP, which is here, 386.160.43, just like that. The first time you're going to SSH is going to ask you if you're sure this is the right place, and you just say yes. And there we go. So we're in. It's showing us the EC2 Amazon Linux 2 AMI prompt. Um, it's also showing us here the uh, the host name, which has the internal IP 172.31.95.69, which matches to the private IP of this instance right here. So we know we're in we're in that instance. So now that we're here. Uh, and if we run who am I, it's showing that we're the ec2-user. And now we're going to install the Apache web server. So in order to do that, we're going to run the yum command, yum install minus y, and that just it's going to it's going to say yes to all the prompts automatically, so we don't have to keep saying yes, yes, yes. So http uh, httpd dot x86 underscore 64. Oops, sorry. I should have made myself the root user, sudo su. Okay, now I'm the root user, and if I say who am I, I'm the root user. And now if I run that yum command again, so I'm just going to copy it from here to here. Okay, there. So it had just installed all the um, the package for the Apache web server. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start that server that uh, the HTTP the sorry the Apache web server. So that's going to be systemctl start httpd dot service. So now it's started. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to enable that service to start um, between reboots. So if you reboot this instance, the service will basically be running. Okay, and now what we should be able to do, now the service is running, we should be able to go to the public IP, which is right here. If we paste that into our browser, So here we go. So we got the test page of the Apache web server running. So we know that it's serving up that web page. And we know that that instance is, um, is public and accessible. So now we're going to go a little bit further. What we're going to do is we're going to substitute this test page with, uh, with our custom test page. So we're going, to, um, we're going to do this. We're going to run the echo command. It's going to say echo hello world from, and then it'll say the the host name that that EC2 instance is. So that so this will be useful when we when we do load balancing. Uh, we'll be able to see exactly which EC2 instance is actually serving our request. So this will give us the the unique host name of that EC2 instance. And what we're going to do is. We're going to put that in var www.html and then index.html. Uh, oops, I need an extra w there. There. So now we made this custom page. So if we refresh this page, there it is. So it says, hello world from IP 172.31.95.69, which, if you look, matches this one right here. So we know that is now our, um, that specific EC2 instance that's serving our request. Okay, so now we got it running. Now we can, what we can do is we can just shut down that server and then we can say this, we can say instance uh, state, and then terminate, and then it's going to say yes, and we just say that, and now our instance is terminated, and then if we can want to clean up further, we can go to our security group, 
we can, here's the security group that we used for that, um, for that EC2. We could always uh, delete the security group. And that's, oh, actually it's saying we can't delete it because that instance is using it. But while, right after it's, it's in the process of terminating, after it's terminated, we can, we can delete that um, security group. So if we go back here, now it's terminated. And if we go back to our security group, we can delete the security group. So there it is. Yes, I want to delete. And that's it. So now we're back to where we started. Okay. Uh, thanks. And let me know if you have any questions.